Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to Tommy's Timber Tips. I'm just kidding. I just made that up, but um, it sounds fun. Doing a little bit of uh, invasive species, dropping a couple dead ash, burning some brush here on a bitter Saturday afternoon. I'm going to call it a day. Um, but I had an idea that I wanted to share, and it has to do with how you travel around the landscape with your chainsaw, whether it's running or not. I like to carry it so that the bar and all those Sharpies are pointing behind me. And to me, it's a natural transition from my operating position where I've got my thumb locked. I've been here, I've engaged my chain brake. Now I wanna go somewhere. Why not? Why not just keep that pointing backwards? I see so many people, and again, doing the right thing, engaging their chain brake before they take more than two steps right but walking around the job site with this in front of them looking for the next cut to do if you trip over something that you can't see because you're looking too far ahead or you're in the snow like today there's dozens of sharp teeth that even if you're wearing proper standards uh, of, of PPE you could still fall on that open up your wrist open up your face open up your neck that would be very very bad so why not walk around like this that's what I think whether this saw is on or off I know that it my teeth my teeth my sharpies are behind me and what's kind of cool about this position is that if I'm walking and I spin this my rear handle He's gonna hit my thigh before those Sharpies can get in front of my body. So they're over there. Just one more really simple thing to do. And like I say, I've already got my hand in that position with my thumb wrapped for my normal operating position. It's an idea, try it, see what you think, and be safe. Get outside, but today, <laughs> don't stay out here very long. Please be safe. 